Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video we will discuss about flow through an orifice. So, let's move into the topic. First, let's consider a tank fitted with a circular orifice in one of its sides as shown in this figure. Let H be the head of the liquid above the center of the orifice. The liquid flowing through the orifice forms a jet of liquid whose area of cross section is less than that of the orifice. The area of jet of fluid goes on decreasing and at a section cc, the area is minimum. This section is approximately at a distance of half of diameter of the orifice. At this section, the streamlines are straight and parallel to each other and perpendicular to the plane of the orifice. This section is called vena contracta. Beyond this section, the jet diverges and is attracted in the downward direction by the gravity. Consider two points 1 and 2 as shown in this figure. Point 1 is inside the tank, and point 2 is at the vena contracta. Let's consider the flow is steady and at a constant head, H. Now, applying Bernoulli's equation at points 1 and 2 we get P1 divided by rho G, plus, V1 square divided by twice G, plus Z1, equals to, P2 divided by rho G, plus, V2 square divided by twice G, plus Z2. But, here Z1 and Z2 are equal. Therefore, deducting Z1 and Z2 from both sides we have P1 divided by rho G, plus, V1 square divided by twice G, equals to, P2 divided by rho G, plus, V2 square divided by twice G. Now, P1 divided by rho G, will be equal to H, since it is inside the tank. And, P2 divided by rho G, will be equal to 0 since it is under atmospheric pressure. Again, V1 is very small or negligible in comparison to V2 as area of tank is very large as compared to the area of the jet of liquid, so, V1 can be considered as 0. Now putting the values in this equation we get H, plus 0, equals to, 0, plus V2 square divided by twice G. Now, solving this equation we finally have, velocity V2 equals to, root over 2, g, h. This is theoretical velocity, actual velocity will be less than this value, 